How do you add a bleed in Illustrator? If we have an artboard or multiple artboards out here, what we can do is go up to File, down to Document Setup. Inside of Document Setup, we can actually adjust the bleed right here. You can put in whatever you want. If I wanted a 0.125 inch bleed, I can type in the actual units right there. And then if this link icon is selected, it's going to change all of these to that same one. If you want to make different top, bottom, left, right bleeds, uncheck this linked icon. Then we can hit OK. And now you can see the red line outside of our artboard is actually the bleed. So to save this as a PDF, we would go up to File, down to Save As. We're going to select the format as PDF, and then select somewhere on your computer to save it. I'll save it to my desktop and change the name right here. Click Save, and then PDF Options will pop up. Inside of Marks and Bleeds, we need to check mark Use Document Bleed Settings. That will include the bleed in your PDF. If your printer needs trim marks or registration marks, anything like that, you can include those here as well. And then from there, you can hit OK and save that PDF. But you just have to make sure that that is included. If you save your Illustrator file, these settings will save, so the bleed will be in there. No worries. But generally, I think if you are adding a bleed here in Illustrator, you're probably saving a PDF. So you got to make sure to include it when you actually export or save as a PDF. And that's how to add a bleed here in Adobe Illustrator.